A good power supply is a must-have in every hobbyist lab. So we're gonna make one today using a Chinese DPS 5015 module. We're also gonna 3D print the front and back panel along with some other mounting brackets. I've had a DPS 5015 power supply front end module for quite some time now and never got around to making something from it. The unit should theoretically be good for a maximum of 15 volts output at 15 amps. I've got mine on sale from Banggood, but you can find them in many places on the web. I've also had this nice and chunky transformer for some time sitting idle in a parts drawer, so we'll put it to good use on this project. A salvage power switch, along with a really old fuse holder, a nice beefy full bridge rectifier, an IEC power plug, and some insulated output terminals are further pieces of the puzzle. I also bought this case made by an Italian company, and it had the advantage that they provide actual AutoCAD drawings on their website, which I used as a reference for the mounting holes. I'm happy to report that the drawings are mostly accurate, except for the profile of the front and back panels, but you can't have it all, I guess. Using the AutoCAD drawing as a reference, I first modeled the front panel base profile and added some center markings to help with the definition of further geometry. I added the cutouts for the terminals, display module and power switch next. After adding some significant ribbing on the back side, I made a simulation to see how far the front plate will bend when the button is actuated. If you're interested in seeing the video, I'll put a link in the description below. I used the AutoCAD drawing provided by the manufacturer of the case to sketch out the mounting plate for the transformer. I left some cutouts beneath the transformer and on the corners to enable better airflow and save on printing material. After that I exported the model as an STL file, sliced it up and printed it on the Prusa i3 Mark II using some of the original silver filament that came with it. This is the final result, and to mount it I used some M3 screws and washers along with some self-tapping screws. Mounting the transformer to the plate was a bit of a fiddly job, but it worked out in the end. All is left to do is attach the assembly to the lower half of the case and continue on with the rest of the project. Next up was the front panel, for which I tried to use the Hilbert curve as an option for top and bottom layer infill pattern in Slicer. This results in an aesthetically very pleasing marble texture for the front panel and I'll think I'll use this option more in the future. The design and printing of the back plate was done off camera as it is essentially the same as the process used for the front panel. I couldn't help myself and did a pre-assembly to get a feel for the final result. Here you can see the great surface texture of the 3D printed parts that can be achieved with the Hilbert curve setting. That's it for the first part, thank you for watching and tune in next time for part 2 where we complete the build and take it for a spin.